we meet again. Oh yes, we meet again. Coco Mantis, how can I wipe your existence out of my mind? The horrifying terror that is a 33 and a half, well, I don't know the exact dimensions, foot tall praying mantis of doom. Oh, by the way, do not tickle him. He asked, Please do not climb on me. I'm ticklish. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Just feast your eyes upon that. I cannot turn away. I cannot, wait, what are you doing? What, what the heck are you doing? Tickling him. It said no tickling. It's my second channel, Daily Vlog channel. It's, she doesn't listen very well to signs. The Daily Woo. Cruising southbound on Highway 31, heading to Indianapolis to the airport. I am in the passenger seat of the sister mobile, and I've deemed it that because my sister is in the captain's chair. Do you feel like a captain? Yep. Leaving Coca. Marissa, get there fast and take it slow, but we're leaving fast. We're gonna go back slow, or? The, the, the song lyrics confuse me. Quite a bit. We'll get there fast and then we'll leave just as quickly. Le going away from Kokomo. It's cloud formation up here. Looks like a face. There's the nose, the eyes, and the mouth. He's watching us. Filling up the tank. Gas price in this neck of the woods. Two dollars and 45 cents. And you can watch TV while, while you wait. Modern conveniences, gotta love it. I have to admit though, I never see anyone sitting there watching what's on the screen. Maybe I should bring like a chase lounge, just hang out by the gas pump. You think, <laughs> think the people inside would be happy about that if I was just hanging out next to the gas pump for hours on end watching TV? Stopped off at the Indianapolis Art Center. And the first thing I see is this Stonehenge-esque type limestone creation, starting with the tallest piece in the front and then stair-stepping its way down, created by Robert Stackhouse and Carol Mickett. Pretty cool looking. And it's inscribed with a handful of names just on this individual pillar. The other ones have nothing inscribed on them. The name of this piece is simply called Circle. That's what it's called. Made in 2005. And there's sand inside. And I'm guessing what you do is you take this mechanism, you swing it back and forth, and it creates a design in the ground. It needs more sand though. The only design is on this side because the rest of it is too shallow. The game plan for today is to pick up our parents at the airport. The flight is... Oh, the flight's delayed? The flight's delayed. Oh. She, she, knows, she knows what I'm trying to say. This is called the Twisted House. Looks like something you'd see out of a fairy tale. Made completely of wood. And instead of going in a skyscraper-esque fashion, it's leaning over, bent directly into the ground with the roof lower or at least perpendicular with the front door. Let's take a look inside. Oh yeah, this is pretty neat. At one time that was a flower bed. You can see parts of the roots of the wooden flowers. And as you make your way up the side, they start to get angled a little bit more dramatically and even a little bit more tilted is that one. And this one, completely, completely upside down. I heard a woodpecker back there. He would be in heaven with that thing. I seem to have lost my sister, however. Can't seem to find her. Oh, there you are. What are you doing? Oh, 
I get it now. Whoa. Some sort of gourd-like looking sculpture. What the heck? What's the what's the purpose? Like what does this what does this mean? Hey. Don't overthink it. You may have heard of Cadillac Ranch, one of the most famous roadside attractions in the world, located in Texas. Well, we're on our way to something not quite as epic. But I bring it up because it kind of falls into the same cat. You, you'll, you'll see. You'll see when we get there. Should be seeing it very, very soon. Oh, I think I, I think I see it through the shrubbery there. That's it. That's it. Lone Hinge. Now it's not a Cadillac and there's only one of them and it's not in the middle of a field, it's in a residential area. But that does not stop this from being impressive. Most impressive. A 1964 Bonneville. And the only spray paint located on it is just that little piece there. No graffiti like its Texas counterparts have. The angle is not quite the same either. This is straight perpendicular and not, not tilted. There's a little spray paint here, but this is supposed to be here, no climbing. So you can climb on the one in Texas. You can't climb on the one here in Indiana. It's in a beautiful little park, straight up to the sky. There used to be a home here a condemned home that was torn down that created this park and in its place built this or should i say place this in the spot i would imagine passerbyers just like that guy who took a wrong turn through this neighborhood probably think what the heck is that car doing tilted up on its side shoved in the ground that's probably what they're wondering. And my answer to them would be never underestimate the power of Lone Hinge. That's what it's called. That's what the locals call it. Appropriately so. Let's get ourselves a fun face. I wonder which one we'll get. It's 50 cents. Here comes the reveal. Oh yeah. Looking good. And it basically just fits around the nose, but my nose was like too skinny. And it won't... Hold on, wait, there we go, hold on. It's not staying. Man, it's not, it's a ruining the illusion. <laughs> it's ruining the illusion there. Hold on, let me, see, let me put the camera up so you don't see my finger. Here we go, I have <laughs> my, I could probably use a dentist visit or so. And why are you, what's, what's with that smile on your face? You, what is like having the having that? I can't talk <laughs> when, I, when I'm doing the snarl. No words come out correctly. Then why are you talking? <laughs> and why? I, it's very very confusing. Very confusing to say to say the man. This my nose is not made appropriately. My nose is not made appropriate. Hold on, hold on. Don't, don't pay, pay no attention to the man behind the paper. Ma oh, there goes my face. My face fell off. Arriving now at the Intus International Airport. I think it stands for Indianapolis, but they have it just initialed with a few letters I N D P L S. In Intus International Airport. And now we wait for their flight to arrive. Should be here any minute. A little bit of a delay, even though the skies are clear here in Indianapolis. In Florida, there were torrential downpours and lots of lightning. So they didn't get off the runway for quite some time. I'm not allowed to cross this line, so I have to stand here and wait. But there they are, right there. This reminds me of a scene from Man with One Red Shoe. I can't cross this line. I have to, I have to stay right here, but... Where's my mom? I don't wanna yell. You can cross the line, I can't cross the line. Welcome to Indiana. You've officially arrived. <laughs> 
I've never been good at these, but I'm going to give it a shot. The key is to skip. Whoop, I think I already. Nope, I didn't mess it up. The key is to skip them one at a time until there's only one left. That's the real challenge. There probably is a method to the madness, but I don't know what that method is. And I think I have messed up. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, I would have messed up. I would have had four for four or five left. That was a fail. Now it's dad's turn. Maybe he has a better game plan than I did. Seems that he is taking a slower approach. I'm going, he's doing, there he's speeding up a little bit. First he was kind of going like a chess champion, taking it very slow, but now he's kind of kicking it into high gear. You see the wheels are turning. Oh yeah. You have to beat, I think I left four, you have to beat my four. Or did I leave five? Uh oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you got three. Well, you beat me. Go, mom, go. 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 I think, I think she knows something we don't know. I think she knows something. I don't know if it has to do with the game, but she knows something we don't know. <laughs> Keep going. The longer you wait, the something will not work out correctly. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where I'm going with this. You have to beat three. You have to at least beat dad's score. Oh yeah, there you go. I see what you're going there. Ooh. Whoop, whoop. Go. Wait, are you? I think you're locked down. My sister is now taking her. Man, you are, you are going rapid speed. You, you might, you might actually win here. You have to beat three. It was dad's score, and you got five. I got six. Six? No, you got five. Oh, six. Wham, wham, wham. Dad, you are. The winner. What can I say? After dinner at Cracker Barrel, I decided to get a few bags of candy, a bit of honey, cow tails, and something called Mary Jane's. I've never had these before. You said they're good? Yes. My mom says they're good. Count of three. One, three. Chewy. Whoa. Oh no. That's the juice in my mouth. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it down. <laughs> Off I mouth them. That was scary. <laughs> I've been choked. Juice <laughs> in my mouth. You know what I mean? It's, can't, it's hard to talk, <laughs> but you have to talk and chew your mouthful anyway. I'm scared to chew it. All right. I think that's a good end of the video. The Russians are back. <laughs> I have no idea what it's about. Vlog? Oh. <laughs>